Hello, Zero K fans. Sorry about the delay. I was trying to just fix up. I'm gonna try the smooth scroll idea because it's not a bad idea. I just needed to edit the widgets so that it didn't show up the arrows or show up the little gradient line that shows up normally when doing smooth scroll. That will be. That was a bit of time. So yeah, back in the game, we have Anarchid and Steel Blue facing each other on alien deserts. So let's just get that started. And, I, wait, did I? Oh, there we go, okay. Anarchist starting out with the Klingabot Factory, while Steel Blue starting out with the Heavy Tank Factory, which I think is a little unusual that Anarchid went for cloakies on a map like this. This is a flat map. This is a map that does not really support a whole lot of cloaky. I mean, okay, cloakies work okay. They work fine. It's just that it's not something I'd really recommend. However, we'll see. Steel Blue is going for Panther. Starting out, so he's gonna go. Actually, a couple Panthers early on. Looks like he's gonna go for quick raiding, or though a bit more of a defensive focus on it. If he's going for pure raiding, I'd see Kodachis. But with the amount of Panthers he's going for, he's definitely being aggressive. Anarchid going for five Glaives, and that is going to be. I need to reverse the scroll direction on this. Anyway, Anarchid is going to be building up five Glaives, and that will be basically. Well, that's an army. That's a small army at this stage in the game. The Panther will help with this, though. Like I said, defensive, but definitely a military-focused start for An for Steel Blue. And Anarchid, he's going to actually run in right into the Panther. He's not... Well, he's going to find it pretty quickly. Going to lose one of his Glaives right off the bat, too. The Panther will be able to one-shot it. And down goes one Glaive, but now Anarchid's aware of where the Panther is. Losing another Glaive to it, however. So two Glaives lost for free, and Steel Blue with two Panthers will not go down to any number of glaives at this point. At least at this point in the game, the amount of glaives that Anarchid's likely to throw in. Oh, Steel Blue also has to contend with the tick, though. If Anarchid gets that in the right position, these Panthers will be dead. And Anarchid is losing... Let's see, he's not losing anything. He's going off to the side, gonna attack down from there, and then hit Steel Blue directly. His commander directly, at least, so once again, not in the best position. So Anarchid is... Getting more glaives on top of this. He does have... Oh, what the heck? There's a conjurer right in the middle of the production line. Kind of stopping more glaives from being built. Not a good thing to have happen. While Steel Blue, on the other hand, getting more panthers up. He does have a welder being built in the meantime. And also not a lot of economy. So his welder is taking a little while to build up. Once it's done, though, he will be able to expand along the south side of the map. Let's get all these metal points here. While Anarchid is expanding along the south... Sorry, standing south from the east side of the map, from the northeast. Taking the east side, and the panther about to deal with his commander. His commander does have a riot cannon, which is going to help out quite a bit against the panther. And if this tick is in the right position, which is not, unfortunately, that's going to be problematic. But the commander will take a few shots. However, the tick actually is in the perfect position, stunning out that panther, and its friend is going to come in and try to help out. Anarchid should be able to deal with both of them, no problem. Glaive's coming in to deal with Steel Blue's panther, and the other, or the stun panther, the non stun panther will be taken care of by Anarchid's commander and actually run away. That's fine. It gets out of the way, but Steel Blue does not manage to deal any real damage. That was the best use of a tick. That was really a good use of a tick that Anarchid would there. Best placement, right, Steel Blue rode right, as mentioned here, Steel Blue rode right into the tick. Didn't know it was there, just came to the right spot, and it looks like the Panther's about to be surrounded. Given how low health it has, it does go down. However, there are more Panthers where that came from. One more being built up, so Steel Blue now has an army-ish again. So actually, with seven Glaives, you might be able to get around and kill the Panther in time. The Welder actually is up front. The Panther not even in battle. The Welder is going to end up losing to that this mass of Glaives, so that Welder is dead. And Anarchid building up more and more Glaives. Although, no, he's actually avoiding the Welder entirely. Steel Blue does have Radar. He does... He does not actually know much about what's going on in Anarchid's base. He doesn't know what he was building. However, Anarchid, on the other hand, does know what Steel Blue has built so far. He knows about the Heavy Tank Factory, of course. I mean, that's pretty obvious. But he also kind of knows... Well, he knows now where Steel Blue's commander is, and he's going for it. He is going to try to take out Steel Blue's... No, he's not going to try to take it out. Bad idea. Ride can gets... Stops that idea right in his tracks. He was going for it briefly, but that was not to be. As it wouldn't have been. I mean, you shouldn't go after Ride Cannon with a bunch of raiders like that. Poor idea. And Anarchid knows it. Because Anarchid knows how to play. So he is going to be playing properly. And he is building up more and more glaives, which... With the ticks, will work decently well. However, 
we have four Panthers on the field, right? or three Panthers, one more in construction. That is not good for these Glaives. That's great for the Ticks, if the Ticks are in position before the Panthers ride over them, if they drive over them once again. But at this point, I think that Anarchy should probably switch over to Rocco's, just to have that range advantage on the Panthers. I mean, the Glaives are great for stunning them, for, for distracting them, but the Rocco's would be actually what kills them, deals the damage on them. And Anarchid avoiding the Panthers. He knows they're there. He wants to be away from them. He's not going to actually lose that Glaive. Manages to run his Glaives away. And a tick going in the back. Oh, too far away from the Panthers, unfortunately. Glaive's trying to go in on cooldown, but not quite quickly enough. So that tick... I can see Anarchid was trying to just get that tick in there without Steel Blue noticing as he'd retreat into it. But not to be, unfortunately. However, it looks like the Glaives are going to go for it regardless. That... Really? No, Anakin, what are you doing? No, don't let your glaives die. His glaives almost died there. That was that was very close. That was worryingly close, but that did not happen, so we're good. And Steel Blue is going to be having to just deal with more and more glaives, which I think he's going to be fine with. Getting more and more Panthers to deal with that, although he has... Well, actually, yeah, I think there are enough Panthers. I think Panthers will work for now against the glaives. Later on, he might want to get some Banishers, but for now, Panthers will do the trick. And that being said, though, this welder is about to go down, taking a fair amount of damage. That, yeah, that welder is done. There are some panthers coming in to try to deal with this, but a metal lake tractor drops as well. Anarchid making sure Steel Blue cannot take the center of the map, does not want Steel Blue to have that. Anarchid wants it for himself, of course. And Anarchid taking the southeast. He is in a pretty good spot right now. However, he is he's going to lose a lot of glaives if he's not careful. Gets rid of another metal extractor, but loses three glaives in the process. Might get rid of a pan- No, not even going to. Going to lose all of his glaives for just a few metal extractors. All of them go down. Steel Blue likely to go for a counterattack at this point, having killed off all of Anarchid's army. Or a great deal of Anarchid's army. All of his glaives, at least. He does have more ticks. He has a few more glaives coming up. But he only has these four glaives. Five panthers and four glaives. The winner should be obvious. Anarchid... Nises himself up. He is getting some metal extractors behind his defense. He's getting more metal extractors built up. And the Panthers going around the Lotuses. So they really didn't do much, unfortunately, for Anarchid. Let's just double check. Anarchid does... He does know they are there. He does know that there were Lotuses play, so he's working around the defense line. Successfully so. He has no other defenses to worry about, so... Steel Blue in a wonderful spot. While Anarchid, on the other hand, aware of this incoming attack, knows it's likely to be Panthers. And he does have ticks in the way. These ticks are going to be able to deal with the Panthers. The Panthers are not aware of them and about to drive over a tick. And that tick does stun out two Panthers. Not all of them. A bit too early. Should have waited another half second or so. And that would have been perfect. And these Panthers are not going to go down. Thanks to their friends. Actually, one of them will go down. But the other one is... Actually, they're both going to go down. In fact, the one going down ended up stunning out all of his friends. Or, no, a tick came in and stunned out all his friends. But another tick just to solidify this. And Anarchid gets rid of... All of these Panthers, as they die, they end up continuing to stun each other. Which makes it even more amusing, though. These Glaives are getting stunned out by the ex Death Explosion as well, but still. One Glaive has three seconds left to kill the Panther! Actually, a friend comes in, and the Panther will not even get another kill. All those Panthers go down thanks to the Ticks and their own self-stun and explosion. Panthers being replaced for Reapers. Anarchid switching out his build entirely, but Anarchid at this sorry, Steel Blue switching his build entirely, but Anarchid has taken up the east side of the map. Tower east side of the map belongs to Anarchid. Steel Blue, on the other hand, taking some of the west side of the map, but much more defensively, right at the edge. Not going for the center anymore. Has lost a lot of stuff on the center. And he's getting what Reapers he can. However, Anarchid having twice the economy, deciding to switch over to Hovercraft as well. So yes, Hovercraft and Cloakie at the same time, not stopping Cloakie production. And at this point, he is still starting to get pretty close to excessing. He is just barely spending as much as he's making. Steel Blue, on the other hand, has 20 metal coming in. Trying to build up Reapers. He only has the one. He can't really build up any more efficiently due to the lack of metal. If he gets more metal extractors, he should be fine. But at the moment, he doesn't have any. He has a bunch of reclaim he could work with. But having lost all those Panthers, that was a massive blow. And at this point, Anarchy just going to move in with a bunch of Glaives and a bunch of Scrubbers. To deal with the Northwest, take that out. Yeah, he is going to the Northwest. And he is going to have to deal with the... Oh, wow. Anarchid's commander actually taking a fair amount of damage. Trying to fight a Reaper. That will likely not work out well for the commander. Especially as Steel Blue's commander is coming in from behind. And Anarchid has to deal with both of this. Getting his commander pincered in here. Steel Blue with a Riot Cannon and Heat Ray. Level 3 commander against Anarchid's level 2. 
And Anarchid digs himself into a hole, literally and figuratively. Commander does go down despite trying to get Terra from himself out of the way. However, coming in with the Scrubbers, this probably won't work out too well. It might, however, there's a small chance. Or sorry, what am I saying Scrubbers? They're called Daggers now. But yeah, coming in with the Daggers, trying to deal with the Commander. That actually might work out okay. The Glaive is tanking most of the shots. But still, the Daggers don't have enough firepower to actually deal with Steel Blue's Commander. 6,000 health and 6,800 health from that Reaper. Oh, Anarchid does not have the firepower to work with this. He could actually build it up, though. He could get up... Okay, Claymore's not useful in this case. He could build up Scalpels. That's what he needs to build. Scalpels and possibly Rockos. If he had that, he'd be solid. But he does not, I'm afraid. So with that, he could harass the North... Panther's coming in to try to deal with the forces, though. And Steel Blue has switched over back to Panther Welder Production. Steel Blue also able to take the center and reclaim the commander that he killed from Anarchid. That's going to help out a ton. This Reaper, however, is very nearly dead. Should probably be repaired pretty soon. Anarchid will want to kill that as soon as he can. And a few Panthers in place, but... These Glaives can't do much about it. The, the Halberd's good, actually. The Halberd's, they ran in there, they would have a chance. But it looks like they're going to go for the main base instead. Try to deal with the production directly. Stem the tide of any incoming units, though Steel Blue has a lot of metal in units, but he doesn't have a lot of individual units. Most of that metal is in his command. Half of it. Half of that is his commander. Level 4 commander already. Tons of auto repair. And Heat Ray Riot Cannon. That definitely hard to deal with, but at the same time, Albert's coming in here. Center of the map. Sorry, center of Steel Blue's base. And Steel Blue about to lose his caretaker. So his production being dropped down. Wasn't actually really producing much from the heavy tank factory, however. He does have enough Panthers to deal with this. The Halberds, however, able to get out of there after killing the Caretaker. Some, one of them does die, but the other two able to escape from the looks of it. Are they going to stop for dealing with this? Yes, they are. They're going to try to deal with the Metal Extractor. Able to kill one of them, but they do go down in the process and not able to finish off the other Metal Extractor. Not a bad kill, though, and a bunch of attacks. A large attack to the Northwest as well with Glaives and, scar and Daggers. Large number of Glaives and Daggers kill the Northwest. And Anarchid still has an economic advantage, on top of that going for an airplane plant. Steel Blue does not have caretakers to produce on here. He doesn't have any production actually going on right now. And only 10 metal income. His commander, up to level 5, trying to just take out all these defenses directly. Not doing a bad job of it, but at the same time, he does have to deal with the fact that Anarchid has so much army. He can, he'll be able to surround Steel Blue's commander and tear it apart. Take a little while, but he will be able to do it. Losing a welder as well to a halberd, which is a little bit embarrassing, but... This Reaper out of position. The commander is at level 5. Lots of armor. Lots of, actually, it is 10,000 health. 10,600 health. And... Overall, about 570 damage per second. That is a scary commander to deal with. The only upside is that... Well, actually, there's a riot cannon, so it's not even an upside. There really is no upside. Steel Blue gonna try to win with a level 5 commander. Anarchist setting up a couple stingers to stop it in his tracks. But it is coming in, and it will shortly come through. Deal with Anarchist's base as best it can. While Anarchist, on the other hand, is just going to go for a direct assault. He doesn't care about this at all. Just goes for an attack. We'll be able to get rid of these Panthers without too much issue. As he just has enough daggers, enough of everything to deal with the Panthers. Down they go. Although losing a lot of... Or having a lot of daggers stunned out in the process. But still, he will be fine. And it looks like Anarchist has... Pretty much won this game. Steel Blue, on the other hand, does have the commander in the base. Stinger has been killed and it is being built up as quick as possible. The second Stinger, that'll help out, but even then, that's not a whole lot of damage. Steel Blue getting hit by a couple of Anarchid's Ravens, but and a sharpshooter on top of that. Steel Blue's commander is about to go down. At the same time, though, Steel Blue still has kept his base alive. So Anarchid not managing to deal with Steel Blue's place, and Steel Blue managing to deal with Anarchid's base decently well. Getting rid of Caretaker after Caretaker still has 2,000 health in his commander and his. Reaper is in pretty good shape. However, one more sharpshooter shot will stop the commander. Actually, even one more Raven shot. Couple of bombs, the Raven will do it. And it looks like a tick has just gone up. No, never mind. Steel Blue digging his commander into the ground. Or maybe that's not Steel Blue, actually. Maybe it's actually Anakid was doing that. Regardless, Steel Blue about to lose his commander. It is in the ground. It will its destruction will destroy the airplane plant. And the caretaker. It's not like airplane man's gonna go down anyway. But down it goes. Steel Blue loses his level 5 commander, and with that, most of his army. He kept his base alive, Anarchid losing a ton of units there. And Anarchid lost Cloakabot Factory and Airplane Plant, but you can't 
actually rebuild a commander. So Steel Blue lost a ton of his investment there. Anarchy just needs to rebuild a airplane plant or airplane repair facility. A rearm repair facility. And rearm repair pad, that's what it is. If he builds a rearm pad or builds another airplane plant, he can just send in these ravens to the main base and... It doesn't have to do that though. It looks like Steel Blue is about to GG. Realizes he's in a bad spot. Anarchid's still economically ahead. Anarchid just needs to build up the units he needs to build up. And he is very quickly doing so. He has got a ton of metal in the bank. Massive metal economy. He just needs to get the build power. And he has the caretakers to do that. Getting the caretakers up. The caretakers is going to help. Probably going to reclaim automatically. He's got to be careful with that. But then from there, you just build up and build up and have a large enough army of constructors that he can do anything. Rebuild this factory and build more factories. Build stingers in the round. Building enough stingers to deal with these panthers, no problem. And Raven trying to help, but the panthers are too fast. Dodge the bomb out. Stingers, unfortunately, not the most accurate. And these panthers are actually getting a fair amount of damage. And it looks like Steel Blue does have... Welders of his own coming in, but he does not have the economy to make that work out. Anarchid, however, does. And Anarchid, however, is. So, mostly focusing on getting a bunch of quills at this point. Once that's done, he will have the ability to rebuild whatever he wants pretty quickly. A couple of these Panthers have actually gone down. Not to the Stingers, mind you, but to the Lotuses, to the Sharpshooter. Sharpshooter about to take out yet another one. I mean, it one-shots the Panthers. If it's in range. That's the one thing. It needs to actually be in range, and it is not. And it looks like a couple of the Conjurers have been destroyed by the Panthers. So Anakid can't easily get map control, but he is reclaiming for some reason. I don't see any storage for his part, so I don't know what he's planning on doing. But yeah, he's just reclaiming for the sake of reclaiming. He's He is accessing by far, so this is a bad time to reclaim. But he is still getting a bunch of daggers. He should probably build a few more caretakers, though. He could build like, three or four caretakers, and that would work. With the amount of reclaim he has, that would work very well. Especially since he's reclaiming his commander and is not actually doing anything. Okay, now he's getting caretakers up, getting several caretakers on this, so he is fine. But Steel Blue taking advantage of his chance to actually build up, being that Anarchid's not producing a whole lot. Anarchid's army is still highly valued, though. Mostly sharpshooters, and Proxy Cloakabot Factory is going to help out. Actually, Airplane Plant over to the southeast, and Rearm Pad has been built as well, so Anarchid spreading out his base. His main base is the entire east side of the map, taking out these panthers as best he can, which is actually pretty well. And with a few daggers as well to help deal with the panthers, that should, this should end pretty quickly. Anarchid, 90 medal right now, thanks to Reclaim. His, the commander, not his commander, sorry, that's actually Steel Blue's commander. Pushing that Reclaim in, and between the three factories, he's spending it pretty well. Yeah, he has enough medal to just push out whatever he wants, as quickly as he wants. He could build Leekos if he wanted to, he could build a bunch of Sharpshooters if he wanted to, and actually is doing that. He could build a bunch of Penetrators if he wanted to, but I don't think he's going to do that. Kind of funny if he built, if he started massing Lecos though, sorry, Wyverns, started massing Wyverns, then that would be hilarious. I don't think he's going to do that. I think he's still taking this game serious. But if he did that, that would be funny. At this point though, his metal income has dropped to 34, having lost all of his reclaim. Getting a fusion reactor though to help out with overdrive, and that will help out a ton with overdrive. He is a, he's in a pretty bad spot for energy though, he needs to get that up. But once the fusion plant is up, then he will have overdrive. He doesn't have to worry about this set of panthers, though. Once again, trying to deal with it with a couple dozen daggers. Which, show, well, that won't be a problem. He's good. That will not be a problem at all. And down go more panthers to the daggers. Trying to get through them, but the daggers have them surrounded. And the panthers can't easily deal with them. However, panther death does mean everything around it gets stunned. And more panthers coming in to help deal with this. But even with that, even with the stunning out... Panther does die, and the daggers are able to go through. 19 of them. Lost a few, but still good. Still has a good size army, and Steel Blue still on the back foot, as he has been for most of this game. Still, Steel Blue's recovered decently well having lost his commander, having gone for a level 5 commander. You don't go for a level 5 commander on 1v1. No one does that, ever. But yeah, that's this is... This is huge, and actually Sprang pointing out in the chat that Anarchid is a bunch of naked mexes over to the north and... Not to the west yet, but over to the north and actually over to the south as well, and they are still up. Steel Blue has not managed to raid that out, while Anarchid has been managing to get inside Steel Blue's base many times over this entire game, and Steel Blue still killing more of Anarchid's daggers, but really... Daggers are pretty cheap. 85 metal compared to the 300 and the Panthers they're killing. So it's been about even, but... 
Anarchid on top that has been just pumping out units like mad has a Strider Hub. Ooh, let's see if he goes something with that. It looks like he's just using it for the build power. But if he goes for a Strider, that would be interesting. Though if he was doing that, he'd probably go for a proxy Strider Hub. Has a Shield Blood Factory as well. Doesn't seem to be doing much with it. Oh, oh never mind. He is actually building Roaches. Okay, that's all he's doing. But Sharpshooter's right in front of Steel Blue's base, which surprisingly Anarchid apparently is not paying much attention to. He will like Will shortly, but yeah, he can just send them in and deal with everything. Okay, there he goes. Now he's getting them in. Dealing with Anar dealing with Steel Blue's everything at the front. Still Steel Blue's front line is gone. However, these sharpshooters have been exposed. One of them both of them being exposed and destroyed. The Ravens coming in to try to save them, but they are not successful. The sharpshooters do die. The Panthers actually only one of them does die. Zeus is gonna help out, stuns one of them out, but still not enough firepower. And despite that, Anarchid still pushing for me. Despite losing a lot of forces, Anarchid can. He can afford, by far, to lose these forces. Steel Blue cannot. Steel Blue needs to keep everything alive. Anarchid loses army three or four times over before he has a problem right now. And Anarchid has been pretty much killing Steel Blue's army every time he's attacked, and then of course rebuilds his army just that much faster. And not lost his entire army in the process either, mind you. He has enough scrubbers that he's actually been dealing a huge amount of damage. Absolutely massive amount of damage to Steel Blue's forces every time he comes in, destroying pretty much every one of Steel Blue's Panthers while losing few of his scrubbers himself. Destroying more and more of the economy. I'm surprised Steel Blue has not surrendered at this point. Very tenacious. More appropriate in a tournament than it is in, a, in just a random 1v1, but yeah, very tenacious. However, also very dead. I, how many scrubbers? 46 scrubbers. I, well, okay, on the screen right now, there's only 33. Only 33. Yeah, it's... Anarchid has this game... Has had this game in the bag for a long time. Killing Steel Blue's commander really sealed it, but even before then he had it. And yeah, Steel Blue... He, I don't think he's gonna GG. I think he's gonna let everything get killed. Figures gonna get killed quickly enough, it doesn't even matter, and he's pretty much right. Down it goes! Steel Blue loses the game, and... Anarchid just rips apart everything, taking the entire map, and... Winning! Although that was a bit of a comeback. I gotta say, Steel Blue did have an advantage at first. But Anarchid pushed past it and won. Very nice for him. I'll be back with another game in just a moment. It'll be a game between Lowry and Flipstip. It'll be on Into Battle and it'll also be the last game for tonight. So stay tuned for that. It'll be up in just a moment.